So the beaches are still closed, but while we're waiting, I thought I'd tell you about a critter that will soon be covering our beaches down here, the sand dollar. Welcome to another SWF Beach Life video. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Sand dollars are animals related to sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and starfish. There are a few different types of sand dollars, but we're gonna talk about the five-holed keyhole urchin or sand dollar, since that is the type I typically find down here in Southwest Florida. You might think that sand dollars are always white since that's how we usually see them, but when sand dollars are alive, they're actually a purple color. Let's take a closer look at the five-holed keyhole sand dollar. You can see they clearly have five keyholes, which are used as a shortcut for food bits traveling to the mouth from the animal's top side, as well as allowing this disc-like creature to sink into the sand. Young sand dollars will actually swallow grains of sand to increase their weight. Neato. Live sand dollars are covered with a dense velvety layer of short spines and tubular feet. They use these spines and tubular feet to burrow into the sand and move around. On the upper half of the sand dollar's body, the spines also serve as gills. Their fuzzy spines are covered with a tiny flexible bristles called cilia, which they use to move food along the ocean floor to a central mouth. The mouth of a sand dollar, also known as Aristotle's lantern, consists of tiny teeth-like structures arranged in five sections designed for grinding food particles. When they use their spines and cilia to move food particles through the sand for dinner, those little bits can be a mix of various things. They are usually microscopic bits of algae, crustacean larvae, and can also be tiny fragments of other animals. They sometimes chew food 15 minutes before it becomes ready for swallowing and further digestion. Sand dollars often gather in large groups. One square meter of sand can be covered with more than 625 sand dollars. It's kind of a random number, but I have seen the beaches absolutely carpeted with these guys. So I am not surprised by the statistic one bit. Sand dollars spawn during the spring, usually from about May to July. Males and females release their reproductive cells directly into the water this is also known as external fertilization. The sand dollar larvae swim freely and undergo several developmental stages. As soon as exoskeleton starts to form, sand dollars are ready to permanently settle on the sea floor. The keyhole sand dollar will reach a size of about three inches across and sand dollars can survive between six to 10 years out in the wild. Due to the fact that they have a hard skeleton and very few edible parts, few animals bother eating sand dollars. They do have a few natural enemies, including predatory snails, sea stars, and various fish. In quiet waters, this flattened animal stands on end, partially buried in the sand. When waters are rough, the sand dollar holds its ground by lying flat or burrowing under the sand. When sand dollars die, their skeletons get bleached by the sun, turning them white and the small spines fade away. The familiar star pattern seen clearly on the bleach shell is more hidden when they're alive, but sometimes you definitely still see it. If you visit this area and you find a live sand dollar, please do not take it from the beach. This is a living animal and should be left at the beach with all its friends and family. If you find a dead sand dollar, by all means, take that home. You have to be careful because they can be fragile, but they are gorgeous and I love photographing them. You can tell they're dead because they will not have spines and it will be smooth like this one. Yes, it's still purple, but you can clearly see that this guy is not alive anymore. Where did sand dollars get their name? Well, I'm glad you asked. People thought the skeletal remains called the test resembled silver coin currency, which is how the name sand dollar came about, according to the Sanibel Sea School down here in Southwest Florida. That wraps up my little informative video about sand dollars, and I hope you now know more about these awesome little critters and can responsibly collect these the next time you go to the beach. Thank you so much for watching, and if you already haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any beachy goodness.